All right, engine is on the stand. You can see, it's upside down, obviously. Get a pretty shot of those pistons and closed deck work. The huge 14 millimeter head stud. So now we're gonna put on a slew of parts, but I'm gonna give you guys uh, the part numbers on these boxes real quick in case you're building something similar. Uh, we're going to do the baffle pickups, oil pan, oil pump, and water pump and thermostat. Uh, we always do a new thermostat and water pump and we do timing kits, but since this is a new motor, we're obviously gonna put a new one on. And I don't advise reusing oil pumps if you don't know where it came from, in case it has metal shavings. So this one we're gonna use the JDM 12 millimeter oil pump, killer B pack pickup and baffle, but with a 06 and up oil pan, one of the better designs, but we're not doing a killer B pan. This is a street car, so it's not necessary. This is the Killer B pickup. As you can see, it's super strong. Extra reinforcements compared to the stock one. And then this is the baffle. Now, if you're gonna use a stock oil pan, you do need to let them know so that the pickup is right. And we are using a 2006 and up oil pan. All right, we're picking up on the GoPro. Hopefully the quality isn't much different. Um, we've got everything staged up, so now we're going to do the oil pump, water pump, uh, pickup and baffle as we said. So the so first thing you want to do is get your new oil pump. This is the JDM 12 millimeter. Most of you probably use the 10 or 11. It does have a marking right there. You can tell by the part number two. Uh, normally you put the seal in first, but we uh, don't have the seal right now, so you can put it on the car too. So what we're going to do is flip this over, clean the surface, Fuji bond it and then we're going to torque it down. So we will show you that once we get the Fuji bond on. Same process, a little three millimeter bead. Surface is cleaned up, don't forget the O-ring. Okay, so now we've got the Fuji bond on. Uh, this one's a little more intricate and obviously we didn't spread it perfectly good, but as long as it's covered, uh, you don't have to go around the inside of this circle here, but I did. Make sure you put your O-ring in the block right there and clean the surface off with brake cleaner and then we'll put it on. flat spots line up with your camshaft. Sorry, crankshaft. There's dowel pins, so you gotta make sure it's on there. If you want to, you can give it a quick Tap around. Okay, so once the water pump's on, put some Fuji Bond on the thread of these two bolts here and here. And put the rest of your bolts on, torque them to. 4.7 foot pounds or roughly 60 inch pounds. Get 
15 inch pounds. The manual on this one says to go around instead of star pattern. Okay, so if you're doing a stock rebuild, this is gonna look different. This is the Killer Bee Baffle. It's pretty. And then this is their money maker, the pickup. We've already installed the O-ring and oiled it. Make sure you oil it. Uh, this is the super heavy duty pickup, which will not break. Uh, the 06 and up, the one that comes with the pan's also pretty good. But uh, if you have an older one, you definitely wanna replace it. So first you're gonna take this and a couple of these bolts. All right, so the pickup's gonna use some of these, so we're gonna put these in, hand tight. If you're using a, your stock hardware, you'll have extra bolts because this one only uses four. <laughs> tight little yeah. spot there. You might wanna use your... You are kinda of covering the whole thing. Might wanna use your bit to help it out. There you go. Good. Looks pretty with the new motor. All right, those are loosely in. Let me grab pickup, and this is the one that has the gasket that goes here. Oh, ring everything, happy. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That. <clears throat> then these are the 10 millimeter bolts. This one. And then two more of the Phillips. Hard to for these. Put everything in loosely before you tighten it just to make sure that it all fits right. And then these all get torqued to 4.7 foot pounds or 60 inch pounds, just like the oil pump bolts. Usually tighten these down first. Kind of let this pivot down, make sure that O-ring gets a good seal. All right, now we're going to open the new OEM oil pump, clean the surface, clean the surface of the block and put some Fuji Bond on it and then we will install it and torque those bolts to the same inch pounds. All right, Fuji Bond is on. <clears throat> it's a little rough. We're actually at the end of the tube. We gotta get some more, but it'll work as long as it's thick. And then we're gonna put our bolts on. So make sure you have your O-ring. Usually they come installed if it's a new pan, but if, if you took one off, make sure that that's on there. We're gonna flip this over. I'm gonna set this on there without smearing it. Oops. Thread your bolts back in and then torque these to 60 inch pounds as well. Uh, we won't show that because it's the same process, but this time, uh, I believe you can just go and around a circle too. There's kind of a lot of them do start pattern. Okay, um, fast forward, we torqued down the bolts on the oil pump. We didn't, we spared you the details on that. Put the oil cooler on. This is not applicable to all cars. Some early Foresters and whatnot didn't come with this, but STIs did in a lot of other cars. So this one gives a 90 degree elbow with some heat shields for the hose. Then we put a fresh oil filter on. Uh, we do run the black Toki Roki ones, but since I have to do a bunch of break-in oil changes, I'm just going to put a regular blue one on. And then this bracket goes like this, but I need to order that rubber hose that connects those two, so we're going to take that off for now so that I don't forget. And uh, we're going to throw the water pump on. We put the motor mounts on, and that is about all we can do for now. 
Um, so the next video will either be getting the heads back or putting the new uh, Hellcat fuel pump in, which I already did one before that's in David's car now, but I never showed how to do it. And uh, some people want to put them in there. So just hit the solder new connector in and uh, bend the hanger. Okay, so water pump gets a metal gasket. Uh, this is upside down, obviously. New thermostat and gasket. Uh, these bolts get torqued to nine inch or nine foot pounds, which is 108 inch pounds. And then you start with this outside corner counterclockwise. So make sure all these are torqued. We did the first few. Don't want to strip these out. So if you're not going to torque them, don't use a Bigger ratchet. Put your thermostat in with the jiggler facing up, and then uh, you can put your cap on. That's uh, it. Over the night, we got a little carried away. We got excited putting stuff on, so we put the coolant crossover pipe on, and at the same time, you need to put the hard pipes on. And then these lines are just tucked out of the way because. We're gonna put a bag back over this since the sides are still open. But uh, I need to order a few parts and like this uh, seal here and then put a couple sensors on, wait for the heads, putting everything back up. So in the next video will be that.